Hello friends, today we are going to calculate the slope and deflection at point A for a given beam having the modulus of elasticity as a capital E which is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square while moment of inertia as a capital I which is 3 into 10 raised to 7 mm raised to 4. Now observing the figure, we have given the overhang span of A to B which is loaded at 200 kilonewton per meter UDL and also a simply supported span of 4 meter is loaded at 200 kilonewton per meter UDL it means it is loaded through 200 kilonewton per meter overall the span now we have to calculate slope and deflection at point A and using the Macaulay's method we are going to calculate the values for point A now for the analysis first we have to calculate the support reaction and we know that at hinge support we have vertical upward force, horizontal force and at roller vertical upward as a resultant or we can say that the reaction as a RB, RC and HC. Now first we are going to take the 3 equilibrium condition which is sigma H equal to 0 and observing the beam there isn't any horizontal load hence our value for reaction at location C as a HC which is equal to 0. Now taking moment at location C and taking a clockwise moment as a positive then at location C RB in the upward direction creates the clockwise moment hence the value is 4 RB as a positive and 200 kN per meter UDL creates the anti-clockwise moment with respect to C. So it is negative and the total span is of 6 meters. So total value is 200 into 6 and CG distance is 6 by 2 which is equal to 0. And solving this value we will have the value for reaction at location B R B as a 900 kN. And if we take the third equilibrium condition which is sigma v equal to 0 and treating upward force as a positive then Rb plus Rc in the upward direction while 200 into 6 in downward direction hence it is negative 200 into 6 which is equal to 0. Now putting the value of Rb as a 900 we will have Rc value or reaction at location C as a 300 kN. So first we have to calculate the support reactions. Now for the analysis of given beam using the Macaulay's method we will have the elastic tau equation which is Ei d square y by dx square which is equal to minus moment. So for using Macaulay's method we have to take a section in the beam and the section must be in the last span of the beam and it must cut the UDL. So let us assume that our section is in between B to C having the A point as a origin and the distance from the origin to the section which is assumed as a X. Then the moment at this location or we can say that the section it is written as mx which is equal to now at location x meter rb creates the clockwise moment and sectional left hand side clockwise moment is positive and the distance of rb with respect to this point is total x minus 2 meter so rest value is x minus 2 hence the value for the moment due to the rb which is rb into x minus 2. Now if we calculate the moment due to UDL which is 200 kN per meter which is loaded on x meter span and it creates anti-clockwise moment hence it is negative 200 into x into x by 2. Now solving this value we will have the RB as a 900 kN and the rest value is 100 into x square and for using Macaulay's method we have to use this bracket as it is as x minus 2. Now this value is going to be put in the elastic equation as Ei d square y by dx square which is equal to now here minus m. So we have to convert this value into negative hence the 900 into x minus 2 as a negative 
900 into x minus 2 and according to Macaulay's method we have to separate all the moments by 3 dot line now next value is minus 100 into x square and we have to multiply it with minus so minus minus plus as a 100 x square now integrating this value with respect to x we will have ei dy by dx which is equal to now according to the method x minus 2 is integrated as x minus 2 whole square divided by 2 plus integration constant as a c1 now 100 x square integration is 100 into x square dx as a x cube by 3 now third again integrating this value we will have eiy which is equal to 900 by 2 as a constant now x minus 2 square integration as a x minus 2 all cube by 3 and in denominator we have 2 so 3 into 2 as a 6 plus c1x plus c2 as a second integration constant and 100 x cube by 3 integration as a 100 x raised to 4 by 12 where equation a is for the slope while equation b is for deflection so our second step is to use elastic equation and taking the moment we have to calculate the slope equation as well as deflection equation now we have to calculate the constant c1 and c2 using the boundary condition now for the boundary condition we know that at roller support our deflection is always zero similarly at hinge support our deflection is zero now for the location of point b or the roller support it is at two meter from the origin so our first boundary condition is when x equal to two meter our deflection is zero so using the equation b if we put the value of x as a two meter while y equal to zero we will have ei into y as a zero now x minus two it means two minus two as a zero so voltum is zero rest value is two times c1 c2 is as it is plus 100 into two raised to four divided by 12 and solving this value we will have 2c1 plus c2 plus 133.33 as a 0. Similarly, if we use support C, our deflection is 0 and the support C is at 6 meter from the origin. So, let us put the value of x as a 6 meter while deflection is 0. So, Ei into y as a 0 which is equal to now x meter as a 6 so our value is minus 900 into 6 minus 2 all cube by 6 plus 6 c1 plus c2 plus 100 into 6 raised to 4 divided by 5. now solving this value we will have So, using the boundary condition, we will have two different equations consisting of C1 and C2. So, let us take the equation 2 minus equation 1. So, 6C1 minus 2C1 as a 4C1, C2 minus C2 as a 0 and 1200 minus 133.33 which is 1066.67 and 0 minus 0 as a 0. So solving this value we will have the value for c1 which is equal to minus 266.67 so our first constant is minus 266.67 so let us put this value in equation 1 we will have and solving this value we will have the value for c2 which is equal to 400 so using the boundary condition we have to find out the 
constant of integration. Now let us put this constant in the slope and deflection equation as a equation A and equation B. We will have the final equation as a here the value is minus 900 x minus 2 square divided by 2 now plus c1 it means 266.67 but it is negative so minus 266.67 and the rest value is positive 100 x cube by 3 and the deflection equation is now plus c2 and c2 value is 400 and the rest value is 100 x raised to 4 divided by 12. Now using this final equation of slope and deflection we have to calculate the slope and deflection at location A. So let us calculate the slope at location A first we will have Now for the location A, the origin and location A is at same point. It means that we have to put x equal to 0 in equation C. So let us put the value of x as a 0. In this equation we will have EI of dy by dx as a slope. So it is written as a theta A which is equal to. Now we have to put the value of x as a 0. So according to the Macaulay's method, if we put the x equal to 0 in first term which is 0 minus 2 it means it is minus 2. So we have to ignore this term though it is minus 2 raised to 2 as a plus 4. But if the bracket is less than 0 so we have to ignore wall term. So our first value is 0 as our value for 0 minus 2 is less than 0 and the minus 266.67 as a C1 which is as it is and if we put the value of x as a 0 the rest term is 0. So our value for theta A which is equal to minus 266.67 and minus indicates that it is in anticlockwise direction. But we have given the value of E as well as I as a 2 into 10 raise to 5 Newton per mm square while i as a 3 into 10 raise to 7 mm raise to 4. So total value of ei which is but we have the loading in terms of kilo newton and meter. So we have to convert this newton into mm square into kilo newton meter square. So it is 6 into 10 raise to 12. Now for 1 Newton it is 10 raised to minus 3 kilo Newton and for 1 mm square it is 10 raised to minus 6 meter square. So our value is 6 into 10 raised to 3 kilo Newton meter square as a EI. So let us put this value in our slope value as a theta A which is minus 266.67 divided by EI as a 6 into 10 raised to 3. So, our value for slope at location A which is minus 0 0.045 radian. So, let us convert it into degree. We will have 180 divided by pi. So, the slope at location A which is equal to 2.578 degree but it is in anticlockwise. Similarly for deflection at A using equation D again at the same location we have to put the value of x as a 0. So from equation D if we put the value of x as a 0 then the value as a EIYA which is equal to now 0 minus 2 it means negative term it is ignored. The rest value is minus 266.67 into 0 as a 0 plus 400 plus x raised to 4. So 0 raised to 4 as a 0. So our value for y a which is equal to 
400 divided by EI and the value of EI is 6 into 10 raised to 3. So, the deflection at location A which is 0 0.067 in terms of meter. So, if we convert it into mm, it is 6.67 mm. So, using the Macaulay's method, we can calculate slope and deflection at different different location using the elastic equation relationship of moment with slope and deflection. Thank you.